um, process and a timeline. So we'll, we'll do that first. And then we want to solicit from you through a brainstorming exercise what you see as the really wonderful things about your school district and your community, uh, things you're proud of. I uh, would like you also then to tell us what are some of the needs and the critical issues that exist here. And then based upon those strengths and those needs, what are the characteristics, maybe the experiences, um, maybe the values that you'd like to see in your new superintendent? And then the last thing we'll do this afternoon is ask you to identify for us the um, groups that you would like us to meet with in the next couple of weeks to really go through that same process. And I'll describe a little bit of that as we work through this process. So that's what we're about this afternoon, probably in the next hour and a half, or however long it takes us to do this. Okay? All right. Let me hand out the timeline for each of you. And here are some extra ones if people would like copies of this. So I'm pleased to say, as you look at the timeline, that um, the first item um, has already been completed. This, this timeline, yes, it's, it's terrific, and, and so are we. But you did select this at your last meeting following an interview that we had um, with the committee of the board so, uh, a week before that. And we're now at the 23rd um, to do what I just explained uh, that we would be doing. Let me explain that um, in the original proposal, we um, put down this process would be approximately 20 to 22 weeks. The schedule between now and um, your visitation of the home district of the person you select um, is, is 16 weeks, so we tried to pare that down. Um, we consider what you're doing the most important thing you'll do this year. And so we want to be sure that it's done with care um, and that it's complete, but we think we can accomplish that within the timeline. I realize that having to say, well, on October the 5th, um, which is a long way away from now, uh, we would do such and such. But our attempt is, wherever possible, to put down on the calendar, on the, your calendars, what these dates will be, and the earlier the better. Realizing that we may have to, as we've experienced in almost all of our searches, have to modify it later as, as, um, as conditions change with, with the board. So let me, let me take you through the steps that we're doing tonight in the phase one. Um, again, identifying the strengths of the district, uh, the needs and critical issues, the characteristics of the new superintendent, and then the groups that you'd like us to meet meet with. Um, and then we're, we're planning, after you've identified who to meet with, is to meet with these folks during the week of the 13th of um, July. Um, and we'll probably be here two or three days, uh, meet with a variety of groups throughout the day. Uh, oftentimes we start at 8 in the morning and finish up 8 or 9 o'clock at night following an um, open forum. Um, where we invite people throughout the community. Uh, as we explained when we were interviewed by uh, members of the board, we um, do all of this work ourselves with one exception, and that's organizing who we're going to meet with, where we're going to meet, and all of that. We're really dependent upon your staff to, to help us with that since we don't know who the players are. Thank so you, that's. That's one, um, <laughs> the she, and she volunteered very cooperatively to do that. Uh, that's, that's something we're really dependent upon, um, uh, Julie, for, uh, to do that, that for us. And, uh, I think we'll have enough time, that, you know, we're a little interrupted by the holiday coming up, but uh, we'll be in a 